back or welcome to my channel. Thank you all so so much for clicking on today's video. I wanted to do a video with you guys kind of going down memory lane and showing you all some crafts that I made for my American Girl dolls as a kid. I'm excited to show you guys everything and I hope you all maybe get some ideas of things you can make for your dolls too. So starting off very strong here, I made this super cute pool table for my dolls out of literally some toilet paper rolls, a box of chocolate, and then on top you can actually still buy this at Dollar Tree to this day. I've still seen it it's basically a pool set on its own like everything on top i didn't make it was already like that and i just basically hot glued it on top of the box and i duct taped the toilet paper rolls just in some black duct tape and hot glued it to a ferrero rocher chocolate box and it's the perfect size for them i honestly want to make like a patio maybe or like a little garage and have this in there for my doll so that they can play because i love playing pool which is why i made this i think that it's super cute and like i said dollar tree still has this so definitely if you see it pick it up and this is one way that you can actually make it functional for your dolls to use as a mini play table the next thing that i made for my american girl dolls was this really cute little tapestry and how this is made is i just took a white fabric and cut it into a fairly big rectangle and i think it's cute and this i don't remember really making honestly but it doesn't look too hard to make like i should probably try to remake this now you know what would be a cool video idea what if i did a video remaking all the crafts that i made for my american girls as a kid like how i would make them now Oh, that's pretty cool. I feel like it's a good idea. But yeah, so there's a little tapestry if you guys want to make this. I actually keep this in Sage's room. You've probably seen it in one of my videos. It's still one of my favorite crafts that I made as a kid because it's adorable. And it fits Sage's room perfectly because it has that, that nice dark blue color on there. The next thing that I made for my American Girl dolls is this couch. And there is a bunch of pillows on here. So let me show you guys the pillows first. And don't be fooled. I did not know how to sew as a kid. Most of these are made with my grandma's sewing machine. But there's this pretty blue one. This one is actually made using some felt. It's not a fabric material. And then I have one purple one. And I have two of these, but I dropped one. Here's the other one. These are so pretty, really cute. And like I said, they're sewed together, but I did not sew. I do not sew. Mm -mm. And then here's the actual couch itself. So this couch is made using some foam board. And this right here actually comes off. And of course, my lazy self did not paint the bottom but i mean i guess you don't really need to because this covers it so there's no need to do that but this is actually that squishy foam material like like that's made out of a foam mattress it fits perfectly into the little couch like you kind of just slip it in here like that see i would love to remake this because i feel like i would do it so differently now and it's kind of coming apart here but i think that the concept of this is really cute and i don't know i just like it i seriously don't know what i was doing with my choice in fabric for the pillows i had a very big imagination apparently because first off none of these match <laughs> but i mean it, it's really cute i like it the next thing i'm going to show you guys if any of you watched my froggy stuff as a kid you probably already have an idea of what i'm going to show you guys this was very popular on agtube or just on youtube in general this is the famous shower that she made a tutorial on to make for your 18 inch dolls and when i first saw this tutorial i was obsessed and i just remember seeing everyone make it and everybody had this in their dollhouse and it's literally the cutest thing ever it's made using this is an actual american girl doll box and then this is some fabric that i hot glued on the top and it's just like scrunched up with a rubber band that you like those rainbow loom rubber bands and then i just hot glued some white lace here to kind of give it more of a design because i feel like it made it look cuter and then inside we have a wooden dowel, a skinny one, and then this is actually made using the top of a hanger. And then right here underneath it is a little black button. So I think that that's really cute. And then this right here, I thought I had something on here actually. I used to have a little shampoo and conditioner that I made. If I find it, I'll show you guys. But it's just foam sheet that I kind of curved there and then hot glued it 
Oh my god, this is so cute. And then, of course, I used a red star because it reminded me of the American Girl Star logo. And, of course, it's pink and purple. I've always loved those colors, you guys. I actually want to put this in my dollhouse again. So, hopefully, I can find some room to put this in because this is so cute. And this brings back a lot of nostalgia of me as a kid. I loved watching my froggy stuff. That lady, that woman was my idol. She had so many great tutorials. I just remember being so jealous of everything, like how talented she was. But hands down, this was my favorite thing I ever made using one of her tutorials on YouTube. The next really cute thing that I have here is a little toilet. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like my imagination as a kid was way better than it was now. Like, I would have not even known how to put this even together if you were to ask me to do this now but I can tell already what I use I don't think you'll be able to see on camera maybe you can oh I feel like you can you can maybe see the writing this is actually a peanut box and gross but I clearly didn't clean it out very well because it's quite dirty inside and I just hot glued a white circle foam sheet on top to look like the lid and so that it could actually open and close oh my gosh this is actually really creative though. I wish I had like more of a memory of me making all this stuff because it was so long ago. Like like I said, most of this is from 2011 to like through like 2016. So it was a long time ago and I don't have the greatest memory. So, And then the back of this is actually made using a macaroni and cheese box. And I just um, hot glued some white printer paper. And I remember thinking that I was an absolute academic genius for this right here because it's actually just the top of a soap like the little thing that you push so the, soap, the soap dispenser and uh, this is the top of it and I hot glued on there and doesn't it look like the perfect thing so that your dolls have something to flush like that is so cute and apparently I didn't hot glue it it's all taped together using duct tape but I mean hey it's like stayed together after all these years so that is some pretty good duct tape but yeah here's the little toilet this is actually so cute oh my god i'm obsessed over this i like had to get this from my garage don't worry i keep it like in a safe place but i don't really touch it because like i said they're not really things that i have space for in my dollhouse anymore um but it's just so fun like there's like dust all over it you probably can't tell but this is so cute to go through it's so fun Next up, I have here this little pink bookshelf that's also made of foam board. And I just hot glued on here some pink construction paper. And I remember this actually. I used to use this as um, a little bookshelf. And I know that because I have here a Xbox 360 that I made just using like some images from Google. And I don't, apparently one of my dolls played the Xbox, but it see i like used it to hold little things like that apparently this is a notebook i made for them as well i just stapled some craft foam together and called it a day and then i have this book that i wrote composition on it oh i looked at, there's a date 7 And there's just little white papers inside that I stapled together. Oh my goodness. This is making me so happy. Oh, I had so many ideas as a kid. This is this is this is a fun video. This is cute. Here's a little last look at the bookshelf. I definitely had more stuff on there, but I can't seem to find all of it right now, so this is what is on here but this thing was filled with like Rubik's cubes trophies little awards stuff like that picture frames so it's so cute so many of you may know that I really enjoy making doll food and I have a handful of stuff here to show you guys this is most definitely not all of it I can make a really long video of just showing you guys all the doll food that I made for them as a kid because this was like what I was most obsessed with so starting off strong here I have this really cute plate that has some bacon pancakes and a sunny side up egg and all this is on as a little plate is foam and most of this on here is also made out of craft foam except for the bacon I made it out of some 
Uh, this is construction paper that I kind of just like crinkled up to look like little slices of bacon. And this is so cute. This is a little pie that I made for them. And it's actually on or inside of like a little lid of maybe like a small jar. It looks like a mini mason jar. And to make it look like actual cherries is actually just those um, pony beads. Or is it pearl beads? I think these are pony beads. This is so creative. Like a little lid turned into a pie. Oh my goodness. Who am I? I can't see what I mean. Like, they, oh my, this is so cute. Next up are these little sandwiches. Again, made using some craft foam. They just have supposed to be like lettuce, ham, and cheese. That's why it's pink, yellow, and green foam. And I made two of them. I remember using these um, as little like school lunches which goes into this i made this mini lunch box for my dolls so it's more like a lunch bag and it's made completely out of duct tape and here's what the inside of it looks like and it's just closed together using tape because i rem i think you're supposed to put like velcro but i didn't have any but like the sandwich like i would look let me see if i can show you I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but I would put the sandwich in there and then I would put like some, a bag of chips and then even a little drink. So yeah, that's what will go in there. I have a pizza box that I made that is way too small for the actual pizza itself. There's some cheese, pepperoni, and it looks like something green. I don't like green things on my pizza. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I just thought that it needed more color, so I added some like sprinkles of green craft foam. And then, yeah, the pizza box is made also just from Google Images. I just looked up mini AG box, and this came out. But it would have worked perfectly if I made the pizza smaller or if I made the box bigger. I think the box needs to be bigger. Let's not blame my adorable pizza. But yeah, this is this is so cute. Here's a couple of other foods made from craft foam. So we have a stack of pancakes with butter. This is a little cinnamon roll, oh, adorable. And then this really tiny little pop tart. And this is a s'more that I made and the white little marshmallow inside is actually a makeup sponge. And on top, like to make it look more like a s'more, I just used a pencil to make the holes in the lines. And of course, everything else is made out of craft foam. Last thing food related I'm gonna show you guys is this. This is too big for your American Girl dolls, but I thought I'd show you guys because of how fun it looks. It's just a mini Starbucks cup that already came with a logo. This is like actually from Starbucks. And then on top, I have a, just a confetti of sprinkles and apparently I like a lot of toppings on my drink. Oh, and inside is all pom-poms. They're not glued in there or anything, so if I wanted, I could take it off and use these pom-poms. But yeah, I don't know how I got this idea. But this is very fun and colorful. Now I have this, and this is actually really adorable. I'm assuming I use this as a mini coffee table, but I was being fancy here apparently because I hot glued on here some scrapbook paper instead of using construction paper. And I like that I decided to leave like little white poking through because I feel like that makes it look more aesthetic. And this is so adorable. And this is also made of foam board, of course, and everything is just hot glued together. Nothing super crazy and fancy. Like if you wanted to like copy this and make it, like I feel like it's pretty easy to kind of get an understanding of what I did. So, yeah. Now I just have a couple of random little things and knickknacks that I made. So this here is a checkerboard. I know for a fact I made actual little checkers for this, but they were of course very miniature. So I'm assuming I lost them because I don't have them with this here, which is really sad. But guys, instead of like just cutting out pieces of red and black like um, paper and hot gluing it on here, I individually made each little square with a sharpie and a red marker instead of just using paper but the concept is cute you get the idea and it's just on some cardboard this here i do remember also having in a doll room i do not even own julie but this is actually from the dollar tree i remember seeing this also on ag tube and i made my mom buy it for me it came in like a pack of four i only have one i know for a fact i made four of these but these are all little pictures that I cut out from like an American Girl on magazine. I miss when they used to give us magazines. And um, yeah, this is 
this was like the perfect piece to put in your doll room like if your dolls had this your dolls were popular that's what this reminded me of and it's all just on like a mini cork board like how cute is that these are actually just some jewelry that i made for my dolls it's really just some rubber bands and then to tie together is the same way you would with like a bracelet you'd make for yourself that little clear rainbow loom clip and i have a pink and green one as well and then this here is a little duct tape bow and i would use this as actual bows to put in the dolls oh my let me show you actually how i did it so i put it on her just to kind of show you guys real quick i kind of made her hair a little bit of a mess but you just put the bobby pin inside and then it kind of just slips on easily and it acts as a little bow for them i also know for a fact that i made more of these as a kid but don't know where they are but these can easily be remade because of how cute they are super simple it requires little to no money and you can make so many with just one roll of duct tape Oh my god, it doesn't even match like what she's wearing, but I kind of want to keep it on her now. This is a fireplace that I made for my American Girl dolls. But yeah, this is also made using craft foam. And this is scrap paper specifically from Hobby Lobby. I know that for a fact. And I think this is probably my favorite out of them all. It's either this or the shower that's my favorite. I don't know yet. But this is adorable. I feel like this looks like, like from afar maybe, it looks professionally made. Maybe close up, but you can tell that it's definitely homemade. If you guys would like a tutorial, maybe on anything here that I made, let me know. That way it would be really fun to show you guys like kind of how I would make it now, how I would spice it up a bit, make things a little bit more fun. And if it would of course look better as I have some more experience with crafting and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that would be a fun idea to do for you guys. I have here some Christmas related things that I made for my dolls. So first up being is this mailbox. The actual mailbox itself I did not make but this here is made using um I think this was like a spice container. That's what it looks like. It's clear on the bottom and I just used some tool to make a bow and then I did a strip of green tape here but inside of it it's actually supposed to look like they got real mail. So I have this mini box. So so yeah, this is super cute, like a little American Girl mailbox. And I thought that this was a jewelry box, but on it, it actually says Magic Pro LED Nightlight. So see, any mini box you find, just tape on there like I did, a little sticker to look like a stamp, and you have a little doll box. Also, you might know what set this is from, from American Girl that I tried to replicate as a kid. Not really the gingerbread house. It doesn't necessarily look like the gingerbread house from American Girl. This one, I guess I just had fun with it. But this is all made out of craft foam. And all the design on here is used with puffy paint. And I have little um, circle foam sheets to look like some gumdrops. And then the white on top is supposed to be snow. And then I guess this is like a chimney, but it's really supposed to look like a candy chocolate bar. Oh, and then of course I have some beads, Oh, which I have to hot glue another one because one of them fell out. But yeah, this is a little gingerbread. And to go with this, this is, I'll insert a picture so you guys can probably get an idea what I'm talking about. It's supposed to look like that little set from American Girl. And um, I don't know why I painted it white because it's supposed to be green but it's made using a orange juice Tropicana lid, see? And I just put um, the foam sheets all inside and I hot glued it with, or I used some Mod Podge to put it in and then I put Mod Podge on top of it after it was all dry and then I put some glitter on it to give it that little shimmer. So yeah, I have a couple of little Christmas things here and these are probably one of my favorites as well. These are really, really cute. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I miss having like more time to actually be able to make stuff. I feel like now like trying to craft is so hard just with college and like my job and everything. Like, uh, you have so much time as a kid. I'm glad I spent it like making stuff like this. Here is something for my American Girl dog. This is the only American Girl dog that I ever owned and was actually a gift from my mom's boss. I do not remember her name at all. But I know I called her princess and um, her, her little dog toy is actually magnetic so it sticks to her. And this bed is just made using some fabric that I hot glued. And I put just some, co probably cotton balls, it feels a little bit firmer than stuffing. And it was her little bed for a long time. I, I don't know why I didn't make this pink, I guess I wanted this because it had dog bones on it but 
Yes, this is my only American Girl dog that I have. And I still keep her in my dollhouse. I just have yet to have looked up her name. I know I called her Princess. I wonder if that's actually her name. Probably not, right? Maybe I just, I don't know, loved calling everyone Princess. But besides that, I think that's going to be all that I'm going to share with you all today. So I hope you all had fun kind of going down memory lane with me and showing you all some things that I made for my dolls as a kid. And I thought that this would just be a super cute idea because it's making you rem it's making me reminisce on everything. And I'm going to actually go look for more stuff that I made for my dolls as a kid because I know I had a lot more and it's got to be somewhere. It it's probably in our storage unit, honestly. But anyways... Thank you all so, so much for watching and being a part of this video. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed every second of it. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you would like to. And I just wanted to say thank you all so much because we just hit 600 maybe like five days ago. And we're like 30 people away from 700. That is crazy. You guys are like amazing. You guys are like really really just like the support means so much to me so much like because of you guys i wake up and i'm like i'm gonna film a video that's what i did today I woke up at seven o'clock to film a video because i have to go to church soon so yeah thank you all so much for watching as always i love each and every one of you guys with all my heart and of course i will catch you guys in the next video push notifications on to be notified when i post a video bye you guys